Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer, and the boys as always. Now apologies for the no stream on Tuesday or last Thursday. Um, things happen, unfortunately, and I'm lazy, so there was no updates. Hmm. Um, but anyway, to remind oh. you all... <laughs> to remind you all either. of what... Uh, <laughs> no, you are not. Um, of what happened last time, our group of adventurers had gone to the Grand Library. Now, once there, they were unable to read any of the books, and there was an eerie voice that seemed to follow them around and talk to them for a while. Turns out, that was the voice of a wizard who was trapped within the library, being the library. Kind of a little bit of an odd situation. But upon completing the ritual that uh, needed completing in there, the library was destroyed. But the wizard was able to materialize, to give them some advice, to tell them what he couldn't tell them within the library. And it turns out that everyone who is in one of these places, these ritual places, cannot talk about certain subjects. Their lips are, are sealed. Um, the mage, being a mage, was able to gather an hour or so to uh, to talk to the party and to show them where his sanctum was. Um, after looting the sanctum and everything disappearing, they acquired some decent items in gold and other trinkets, along with a lot of information. Now, we return back to our campaign, where... I will give the players an option. If you want, you can go straight to the circus. You are very close to it. Um, because we have two parties doing things, um, it's only about midday. So it's entirely up to you. If you wish to return to, um, to the boat to uh, sleep up and regain a fortune point, you can. Um, or you can go directly there. Entirely up to you. Fortune points. Who needs those? <laughs> I'm going to actually check because I don't know if I need. I vote to go to the circus. I think we should go through the circus and get it sorted. Well, I use um, one fortune point on Livia, but if you want to, we can go straight there. Ah, uh, no, I am good. I'm good. Unless, unless you want to go sleep, and uh, then we should go. I have all my fate points still. But, yeah, but it's not fair if someone wants to go to it or just say no. No. But the dark voice says yes. So, um, <clears throat> as you make your way back down, um, you again follow the path you came and you see the big top. You hear the sounds of music, laughter and joy, and an eerie music. You decide to head there. As you get closer, the sounds of the music... That was weird. Okay, uh, the sounds of the music increase. The sounds of laughter and joy again increase, but as you walk closer and closer, the area becomes more and more dilapidated. It doesn't seem like any joy should be here, and yet you hear the children laughing. You hear the clowns performing tricks, and you hear the stall sellers calling for service, for customs, customers. As you make your way down the road, it expands. It's a much larger area, and it comes into a clearing. This clearing, uh, not so much a clearing of space now. The buildings are all far away, but the circus is in this position. Yeah. 
as you walk closer you begin to see more of the tents more of the stands that yeah that all looks like a circus but you don't see anyone but again you hear the sounds of laughter and joy that's gonna be really annoying on repeat if it keeps starting and ending like that I actually didn't hear that the first time, so... <laughs> the circus lays in front of you. Okay. Uh, so it's just a large... High top? What's it called? Big there's, top? A, there's a large big top. There are multiple smaller tents that you can see from where you are. You haven't entered the circus grounds yet. You're still on the outside. Um, you can see the smaller tents and uh, different stands and so on. Um, unfortunately, you don't really notice anything, Lissiara. As you're looking around, you can see, you know, it. it it looks like a circus. I mean, you haven't seen many of them. Um, being an elf, this is probably the first time you've seen a human circus. It, odd. Um, it's not really like a festival. It, it, it's, eh, it's unique to human society. Um, but as you close your eyes and shut off the mundane world, looking into the, the realms of magic, um, this area is like the others. There is something strange and unusual about it. It definitely has... It's definitely like the other places. There is something strange going on here, but you can't see through. As you look with your magic sense, you don't see the big top. You don't see anything past this shimmering barrier that goes round... Um, this area. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna perception this. Uh, uh, well, I'm uh, in this place looking. Freaky. I don't know why you humans like these sort of things. I can't really see anything in a magical way. Other than the big bear like the other places. My turn. Look at Luciara. Look at Dead in the Eye and go... Do, 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 do. Turn back and start looking at the big top. Casper, <laughs> as you look over... You see what is unmistakably dirt being moved. Almost as if someone was walking past, but there is no one there. Okay. That can... you too, as you start looking around, it's a... You dwarves have circuses, but not like this. It's all very grand, open and large. Um, and as you look around, something move? There's nothing there, but again, it looks as if the ground is being kicked up. Like, quickly, that looks like as if someone was running. But there's no one there. Same. Can any of you fingerless wigglers see if there are any invisible people here? That's I'm gonna... Right. I'm gonna turn to black hand. What is the name, bro? I, can, I literally just said the only thing I can see magically is the massive barrier. Nothing yes, else. There was something over there. Did you, did you not see it with your eyes? Over there with the, the dirt. It's been kicked up. I'm going to over there. Oops. I'm going to keep my eyebrow raised. Hey, what now? I can I do another do perception this. check? Livia, it looks as if someone just did like a like a ballet's twirl. You can see like the dirt's been 
turned into like a circular pattern and then what did someone jump like it, it's it, you don't see the people there but it it's definitely if you were a tracker if you were looking at someone's feet when they were doing things it definitely looks as if people are moving and hang on that that just got flattened that stone Well, I'll try magical sense. I mean, this place has been it's very similar to what we saw last time. It's, it's a more or less a barrier. Unfortunately, much like Lysiara, you see a massive barrier. Clearly magical, clearly similar design to the others that you've seen, but you see nothing through it. It is completely... Um, Oh, I forgot the word for when you can't see through. So opaque? No. Yes. Yes. Opaque. Yeah. Opaque. Um, I'm stepping over the threshold and starting to make way towards the big top. At this point, Casper's like, "Fuck it, let's get this over with." I bet you, I can find out what's wrong. When you can. You step over the barrier, Casper, and as soon as you do, you are taken into a different world entirely. The lights, the vibrant sounds, the children and adults laughing and joyous. There must be a thousand people here or more. You look around and yes, there's there's a ballet dancer over there doing tricks and um, small ballet acts for the children who gasp and wow and hang on, there's a clown on a on a ball who's walking along it whilst juggling and what is that? There is a creature that you, you have never seen before. It's huge. It's got four legs, a mighty long... Uh, is that its nose? And two giant tusks and big floppy ears. And what in the... Um, do we still see Casper after he crosses the threshold? You do. Okay. I turn back and look at my companions. Are they still there? They are not. Uh -huh. I flip I off, walking towards the. Uh, I, I flip off where they were and start walking towards the. Uh, I shout to Casper. Can Casper hear me? No. Uh, I'm gonna look at Lydia then as I can. Well, we clearly know that Casper is currently unreliable. I don't know why he keeps budding or things like that, but one of us should go through it and see if we can come back before we all venture in, and we should mark the spot too. Sure, I'll go ahead. I cross the barrier. Much is like there Casper. Natural earth under my feet. Is yes. It Yes, no, this is natural earth, because they have to um, smash the tent pegs in for the big tops and all the tents. That's beautiful. You think you see a bit of grass? It's trampled and pretty fucked, but... Maybe I'm just going to gasp, seeing something green in a human city. Well, green, yellowish green, it doesn't look too good from where you are. It's something, she'll take it. Uh, Black Hand, if you try to cross back through the barrier, you find you cannot. Um, Casper, as you walk towards uh, the big top... Can I... Mm, I don't have paper on me. I don't know sign language. This is an issue. Can Livia or Aurelia, uh, sorry, can Liv, yeah, Livia or Lysiara read lips? I can read um, um, <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Wait, the only one that... I have seen the sign code. Does that cons constitute a sign language? It uh, does. The problem is we... But the others have <laughs> to have the same. Yeah, like sign language ranger, if you don't Wait. have it. Okay, I'll be out of character. It's fresh dirt underneath you. Write something in the dirt. Yeah. 
Well, we right. still will reach to a very dumbfounded dwarf venture in. So, yeah. you know, we yeah. probably know. Also, when Black Hand tries to come back, do we see him bonk against the wall, or...? Yeah. Uh, essentially, you, if you put your... Well, how would you test it? I mean, I will probably just fall back. Okay, then, yeah, they see you, like, bong off the side, like, what the fuck? Can I pull out my uh, accent, right? Sarah isn't here because she'd be like, look, he turned into a mother. Can I, uh, can I pull out my axe and try to smash it? Sure, you can do that. Um, it has no effect. It goes through. No, it has no, like, it, it just bounces off. Just ding, ding, like, except for no noise, it's just bouncing off. I, I'm going to look at Livia. Um, so, Casper, uh, you would notice this. Uh, maybe 60 people are now pointing at a dwarf like what is he doing what's wrong with him why has he got an axe out stay away from him darling he, he's clearly mad <laughs> i'm going to turn around I'm going to look at livia yell over well, stop you're scaring all the people i do believe it's safe to assume that we can go in but we can't come out until the well, until whatever riddle or task we have to do inside. This is slightly worrying, but... Um... It'll be fine, and I don't think the dwarf is going to make it out on his own, so... We should probably try... Thanks very much. Thinking I can't fully work it out. <laughs> well, I said the dwarf. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I have a question. question. Who has the looking mirror? Uh, I think I do. Ah, why do you have it and I have it? That that doesn't help. <laughs> why not? Well, it kind of does. You could try and communicate with me. No, but I was going to leave a message for the people on the boat, but... I'm just gonna take the, the the mirror, bonk it to see if Casper sees it or if I can see Casper. You cannot. You, you bring out the mirror and look into it, and it shows no reflection. I'm going to look at Lydia. Well, clearly whatever is in there is cutting off everything from the outside world. Oh, joy. I, I, will, I will point get out... In there before they get into trouble. I, I will make a... I mean, I will probably stop after two or three swings. So I'm, I, I'm I will make... point out, um, none of you tried to leave the other areas either. You would have found exactly the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This is the first time you were like, can we get out of here? And it's the last one. I, I'm going to make a, a rune in the outside area. It's basically indicated that we went in. Sure, yeah, you can do that. Uh, if you want, yeah. you can... You know, there's a load of derelict buildings. You can grab a piece of wood, like, basically make a sign, an arrow pointing in, you know. Yeah, I'll do that then. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll write it in Altharan with my finger, because I can do that with Cauterize. Sure, so you burn a message into some wood and make turn it into an arrow so it's pointing to the um, circus. Sure, you can do that. And go look at the Well then, shall we? And I'll slip through. Again? Again. Yep, I follow. Much like the others, when you step through colour, vibrant colour, the people walking around are not spectres. I didn't say this before, but they are people walking around. And as Casper was the first one in, and no, we'll go to Blackhand, as you stop hitting the barrier, you look around and 
yeah there's about 60 people who are all just like looking at you really weird like what the hell is that dude up to and as you put your axe away they carry on with their business but they they're giving you a wide berth now casper as you've kind of shouted out for him to stop turned around seeing people around you uh conducting their business a man comes over oh sir sir aren't you just a gem aren't you just a gem well, well for gems sir we have a very special treat a very special treat would you like to try some of these our famous nullen sweetened nuts don't only a <coughs> shilling sir only a shilling he brings round a tray and he's a, a, a seller he has loads of uh sweetened uh dried nuts and other fruits have been dried and sweetened Yes, Gasper. Don't you, want, don't you want to try his nuts? I'm way on ahead of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Only a shilling, sir. I, I guarantee you'll love them. They're, they're amazing. Everyone loves them here. He is met with silence. The vendor looks crestfallen <laughs> as he turns away. <laughs> good, good evening, sir. Have a enjoy yourself. <laughs> Black Count doesn't give a fuck. No, no, no. That was to you. Of oh, to me? Oh, yeah, yeah, to you. Why do you think I keep silent? Oh, I, no, I thought you said it was going to Blackhand. No, 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 like, Blackhand had turned what? around, and I did Blackhand's bit, and then I went to you, where oh, you had told him to... Oh, to... sorry. That's all right. I, I even oh. asked you if you wanted to try his nuts. Oh, fuck's sake, sorry, I must have heard them. Uh, oh, sure, why not? Uh, I reach in my pocket, pull out a shilling, and take it to... Oh, 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 marvelous, sir! Marvelous! Here, here you go, and I'll even chuck in some of uh, some of these uh, these sweetened limes, sir. They're, they're, they're from from far away, and Nolan gets all sorts of stuff here. Really does. Yes, yes. Uh, I've been to Nolan. It's very nice. Sorry, not Nolan. Mordheim. Mordheim. <laughs> um, my good lad, uh, can you tell me what is on today's show? Today's show, sir, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's it's fantastic, spectacular. It, it, it'll amaze your mind and 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 light lifting your soul. Uh, it, it's a normal stuff for the for the circus, sir. Uh, like animal performances. Uh, the 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 top master will be in there, and he'll do his uh, his uh, spiel. And it's a real show, sir. It, it only costs a brass penny, sir. Only a brass penny. A real deal. And every night someone's picked from the audience, sir, to, to participate, to, to rile up the crowds. Ah, oh, the people love it, sir. They, they really do. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, my good lad. Uh, I'll point over towards the rest of the group. I'm sure those lovely people over there would love, also love to taste your nuts, so... Oh, th th um, thank you, sir. Thank you. I I'll go and offer them to them. <laughs> I'll carry on then. Uh, and do watch out for the ele ele elephante, sir. It, it, it's a it's a bit of a beast if you get too close. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, the stool, the vendor swings his uh, his um, goodies in his little basket around to his back as he uh, makes his way over to the the group that have just come through. Oh my 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 good sir and ladies, um. Of, of all races uh, how, uh, how are you doing this fine evening I was wondering if I could interest you in any and he gives you exactly the same spiel I'm going to raise an eyebrow are you trying to offer me nuts yes my lady they're sweet and caramelized nuts see right here we have uh, we have walnuts and we have uh, hazelnuts or, or I can do you a, a mixed bag we also have fruits of different varieties, dried and sweetened. Do <laughs> my eyebrow raised, I'm gonna look at Olivia. <laughs> look at him and say, No, I'm good. <laughs> and I'm going to walk. Olivia's going to buy some. 
Uh, so one silver, and uh, he also gives you a uh, a small bag of sweetened limes uh, slices. Oh, she's going to take a mixed bag. Oh, well, thank you very much, my lady. I, I'm sure you'll love it. Everyone in Mordheim does. It's a real special speciality of our circus. Uh, the, the show in the big top will be starting in... in uh, he looks at the sun. Yes, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful, beautiful day for a circus. Should be starting any time soon. He gives you a wave as he makes his way to another group of uh, individuals who have seen you buying things and have decided to buy some themselves. Uh, Lissiara, uh, you so would... As we look up into the sky, do we see a comet? There is a green light in the sky. <laughs> Is that what I was going to get right now? No, no. Uh, you notice the uh, <clears throat> you notice the uh, elephant or the elephante. However, it is described in from the far off uh, continents of In, I believe. Or is I it? Or is it the ogre territories? I can never remember. No, the ogres are the mammoths, I believe. Yeah. No, they have mammoths. Curious oh yes, it could be Araby. It could be Araby where they get because you do get elephants. It, uh... I forget exactly. I know they're not in Lustria. Elephants kind of get eaten by dinosaurs. Sad fact. I mean, I know. <laughs> has mammoths. But... Yeah, Norse Norska has mammoths. Uh, the in the ogre kingdom they have mammoths. But in Ind and eh, well, in Japan and India, in the Mordheim, in the fantasy world, they would have elephants because that wait, that's where it is in Nippon would have. Why would what? How would Nippon have elephants? Because it's in tropical trade. Remember, all these things oh. would have come in through trade, and if you're in a tropical air area. They're going to get them through trade. Whereas to get an elephant to the old world is quite the ordeal. Um, but Mordheim was one of the biggest cities, growing cities, in the old world before the comet hit. <laughs> um, you would also notice... Um, with your perception that a lot of people are pointing and uh, pointing over at you two elves and kind of gasping and in shock oh, there are elves here what are elves doing here we don't see elves all the time what's a... I'm just gonna take a sigh and keep moving and again you see vendors calling out to people to buy their sweetened ale, to buy their sweet nectar made only from the finest of uh, fruit syrups. And this is a incredible, active, lively place, but ever at your mind, in fact, this is, can't be real. Surely not. I'm keeping my eyebrows raised most of the time, just looking around. You're going to get horrible, horrible, horrible um, wrinkles. One day, the wind will change and you'll stay like that, you know? I'm an elf, so I don't think I'm worried about that. You get slapped in the back of the head and you'll never be able to change that expression. <laughs> I <Right>, will die. <laughs> Your eyes will never go. Your eyebrows will never go down again. As you're making your way through, uh, uh, 
almost a school of children just run past you, laughing and playing, chasing some... Are they magic bubbles or are they... Oh no, some child seems to be blowing bubbles with soap. Yeah. Okay. And they're all heading towards the big top. Excitedly. I'm ready to fight. I'm running like to try to fight Casper. <laughs> oh. Sure, you can roll me a perception. Uh, I want to keep an eye out for things. Yeah, I'd say with that many degrees, you you can spot him in the crowd, covered and, you know, hiding as much of his skin as possible. Uh, that, 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 Sticking to the shade I do have much. a question. Is the sun affecting Casper at all at this moment? Nope. How curious. And to be honest with you, now that you've asked, it's a gloriously sunny day, but you don't want to take off any of your clothes. Like, you don't want to take off your traveling cape or anything like that. You're still kind of like... The temperature hasn't changed since you walked through the barrier. And it was kind of, not cold, but cool through Mordheim. Because... <laughs> Here's, here's my thinking. Uh, this is, uh, we just crossed into a barrier. This, this is probably just all of it, a big illusion, so... I don't really believe what I'm seeing. I, I, just like the other you know, tasks we had, things weren't exactly real. They could hurt you, sure, but... Like... They're not really there. Do I also see, by the way, do I also see the green light in the sky when I see the sun when yes. I look up? Yeah, now that it was pointed out to you and you looked up, yeah. Okay. Ah, I'm just going to know my breath. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just going to move towards Casper. Um... I'll be heading towards the uh, what I think is the front, the front of the tent. Um, yep, there, there's a lot, big queue of people, and there are uh, two ticket sellers going through the people selling them tickets, and um, you know, calling out to people. Oh, the show starts seven minutes. Seven minutes. We may delay if uh, the queue is long enough, of course. <laughs> And they have one of those, um, so it, it'd be a much cruder form of this. If you were, ever remember seeing um, the old bus conductor tickets, where they have a machine that they spool out and take a... Ah, uh, yeah. So it's a okay, much so older, like... earlier version of that. But mm. yeah, they seem to turn a little handle and a ticket appears and they give the ticket to the people. Okay. Um, I'll just kind of approach one of them myself and... Yes, I'd like to buy one of your tickets. What was it, uh, a penny? Uh, yes, sir, just a penny. The, the best, uh, most affordable show around. That's what they say. That's what they say, sir. He takes your penny, he turns the wheel, and... Oh, we've got a winner! Everyone, check out who has got a golden ticket, sir. Um... What? Ah, ap apologies, sir. Um, there are golden tickets, the front row seats, chance of you being uh, picked for the performance. Ah. Uh, I see. 
<laughs> Everyone gets a chance, so it's completely random. Yes. Yes. Um. Hmm. Can you hold on just a moment, and I'll turn and I'll turn to the group. If I know where much they would be, and motion them over. I'm, yeah, you I'm turn approaching around. you calmly. You turn around and basically yeah, Lithia's on your tail. Following. Sorry, Lithiara is on I, your tail. I'm, turn I'm, I'm turning to the lad and... I bet you now... A silver shilling. The next... When when this elf comes to take a ticket, it'll be another golden ticket. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not allowed to bet or drink. I, on duty. See? Um, oh, okay. Well... Then, without the wager, just a simple yes or no. What do you think? Uh, I think it's impossible, sir. The, the tickets are designed to be random, but I will take a gentleman's wager gentleman's with you. Yes. For a little bit of honour, you say? Yes. Fair, fair. I'll be more than willing, sir. I say impossible. Uh, I'll motion... The nearest elf over and come, my dear, my lady, and take a ticket. Well, I'll I'll pay on your behalf. Actually, I'll slip him another penny. Well, what a gentleman! What a gentleman you're with, my lady. Thank you, sir. And by the by, Sigma himself, sir. That's incredible. I I don't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Another golden ticket. Well, here you go, my lady. I please enjoy the show. Dad. Unheard of, sir. Unheard of. We sell hundreds, maybe thousands of tickets. I've never had two in a row. Uh, so which oh, one Lydia of us is going to it? come up and ask for a ticket as well? <laughs> Black hand, <laughs> that's the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to raise an eyebrow and look at Casper. Uh, of, of course, my lady, and of course, good sir. Uh, a penny each. Uh, thank you kindly. And by, by the heavens above. By the pantheon of man, this is... Ladies and gentlemen, today is the rarest of days. Another two golden tickets. People are gasping. Children are aring and, like, disappointed as he hands another two golden tickets. One to Livia and one to Blackhand. Well, this may be the it's luckiest little day. Machine broken. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure this isn't time to know, Olivia. A, a, a child comes running over. Sir, sir, here's my penny, here's my penny. Can, can, can I have one? Oh, of course, child, of course. I'm afraid it's a, it's a regular ticket. Uh, enjoy the show. I'm sure you'll love it. it it's, a, it's a great performance. I'm going to look at Casper. No, Casper, I wonder, if you get another ticket, will it be golden again? I... <sighs> I kind of want to be nice, but I don't want the room to get. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, sir, it's a matter of one ticket per person. Yeah. We would run out if everyone could buy multiples. As I said, very popular show, very popular. He gets called away as people are like, sir, sir, over here, I'd like a ticket. Of course, sir, of course, sir, I'm right there. Enjoy the show, ladies, gentlemen. He rushes off. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put my hand to my face, massage it a little bit, and say, uh, why is this so predictable? I, uh... <laughs> uh Livia gives a knowing look and she's like, yeah, curious coincidence, isn't it? I look at the group and I want another bet. <laughs> Big smile on my face. You think you have issues? Oh, yeah, think so. <laughs> Losing is not one of them. I turn to uh, join the queue. Come on. Um, as you turn round to join the queue, it's as if everyone disappeared. You are at the front of the queue, handing in your tickets. And as the person takes your ticket, rips it, they inform you, oh, at seats at the front, they've got golden wraps on, uh, on the side. Sit wherever you like. You enter the big top, to the sounds and smells of hundreds Maybe more people excited, eating, drinking, laughing, the tension in the air, the excitement, the buzz is tenable. At every step you take towards those seats with the golden backs, you feel as if you're walking into a music festival. The excitement just fills you. 
And when you take your seats, you find yourselves actually, like, excited. Like, wow, so I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder what we're going to see. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to sigh, shake my head, look at the group and say, Oh, come on, let's get on with this. I want to get out of this blasted place. Well, you can enjoy yourself a little bit, Elf. <laughs> I don't know, Casper. I don't think I like this human oh, come thing now. called circus. I pull out the bag and how about that? No. <laughs> come on, taste my nut. Casper. As you open the bag, no. there is just this sweet nutty aroma roasted to perfection casper miss yara willpower test please Blast. ah for fuck's sake <laughs> it is an easy test but it is a test nonetheless oh okay. wait is it a flat willpower or flat willpower yes you're tempted they smell and just look fantastic but no, perhaps not. No. Close the bag. I'm afraid to do oh, Lydia looks know. over and she's like, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. They're very, very sweet, but I currently can't eat with my stomach. Casper, your stomach grumbles. <laughs> I'm going to raise an eyebrow. As I if you sh- could eat one. You haven't had a sensation of wanting to eat anything yeah, but your particular delicacies in a long time, but they I'm were gonna, tempting. Yeah, I'm going to drop the bag and black hands will have them take my seat properly. Sure. Because... Small gift. If there if there is a back seat on the front, I'm on the back seat behind Casper. No, all the golden seats are all front row seats, so you, there's nothing obstructing your view. Ah, uh, okay. And a few moments after you take your seats, and this area is quite light, um, either through magic or through gas or through um, candle light that is magnified through lenses. This area is incredibly bright for inside. But then, as the buzz of talking almost reaches a pinnacle, the lights shut off. The buzzing ceases. The lights come on, and there is a man stood in the centre of the ring. Not a tall man, by any standards, his large top hat and cane topped with a brilliant jewel increase his stature ever so slightly. Ladies, gentlemen, fine citizens of Mordeheim, I present to you the most spectacular show in the Empire. As he raises his cane and taps it on the floor, the lights come on. More spotlights. Dush, 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 dush. Each light illuminating a different performer doing a different performance. Some of them are clowns on balls, juggling knives, juggling um, torches. Others are acrobats who are essentially lifting multiple acrobats at a time whilst balancing on a uh is it a trapeze board i forget the term for it or is it a horse no i think it's a horse the thing that acrobats use um so balancing on a beam um whilst another light comes on and you see this magnificent hippogriff and a man with a whip and a chair and another light as there is a beautiful woman strapped to a spinning board 
as a blindfolded man throws axes. The crowd goes wild as each one, each light comes on. The lights go dead again. And the man appears again, but this time he is levitating. He's about 12 foot off the floor, just levitating. But ladies and gentlemen, please remember that at all times, your lives are in peril. A scream from behind you. You look round and there are dozens of faces looking back with joy and glee, but where did that come from? You can't um, find them, Black Hand. You look round, but you never saw how many people were there in the first place. And it is a packed I don't spot tent. anything... I don't spot anything odd, like... It's like... There's, like there's something off, or... It does all seem normal to me, aside from the wacky acts. At the moment, as you look round, everything seems normal. Except from the fact no one except from your group, has noticed the screen. Now again, you're looking at darkened faces because of the lights uh, on the center of the, of the um, circus. So it's poorly illuminated and you just see happy faces, joyous faces, excited faces, but there are so many. You might notice something if one of them disappears again with your four degrees of success. But for now, there's just too many of them. Um, I want to do a perception check, but I want to I want to keep a, a close eye on the guy that's narrating things. But never mind. You were just too taken aback by the splendor of the show, the way he's floating. It, it, is it magic or is it wires? Is it you're not quite sure, but there's a... Actually, I wrote magical sense. Ah. Do I notice that he's floating with, you know, havoc? Two degrees of success. You see nothing but the mundane. Wait, what? You... Why? You look at your person, because you know you have magical items on your person, and... There's nothing. I look over at Casper. <laughs> he is mundane. What? I mean, he's pretty plain, but that's gonna mean. There is no magic items on him. There is no magic emanating from him. The one thing you do still see is the black shimmer. With just a tiny, tiny, tiny streak of silver. Hmm. Okay. But you don't feel powerless. I will add that. You, all the wizards here, you feel as if you, the magic is... You're still connected. It's just when you look, when you use um, your magical sense in here, everything seems mundane. And in fact, as you drop your magical sense, everything seems more vibrant, lighter, more enjoyable. Hmm. But do not be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen, because we will do everything to ensure your deaths. For this unwilling sacrifice, we have had to sacrifice everything. He stares at those um, in the golden seats. There is utter sadness uh, and loathing in his eyes as he uh, reaches uh, in and places a mask upon his face. It is a half red, half black mask. But on the red side, there is a black tear, three of them that run down. And on the red side, 
there are two tears that run down in black in red and the face on the mask is neutral uh sorry no is smiling at the moment go ahead jim uh, i'm going to lean forward and wait uh, uh, on this seat and i'm just going to whisper to because oh well, it's about to start what we're truly here for But remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the greater good of the Empire, that we sacrifice and kill. As soon as he says kill, there is another <coughs> from behind. You see nothing but the mundane world as you look through into the magical realm. Much like with Livia, everything is plain. Everything is mundane. Can I look around for that screen? You can. Perception test. Uh, black hand, you can do a perception test, but with a plus 20. Okay, you can give me the result. It is a success. <laughs> it's actually a massive success. So oh, that's 11 degree of success. If there is no cap. No, there, there, is, a, there is a cap at 100. Um, so you can maximum you can get is 12 degrees of success. Because I give you 2 degrees for a natural 1. So at the moment you've got 10. That's still ridiculously high. Um, with 10 degrees of success you immediately spot that there's a woman missing. In fact... You're not entirely sure, but that might have been the woman and the man who was looking at you earlier. The man is still there, but there is a space next to him where you know his wife or partner were. But are now gone. Casper, you look round. There are so many people. Darkly illuminated, faces jeering and... Uh, you'll get a bonus if you look for someone else uh, later on. Okay. Hmm. I look back to the... What do you call him? A, uh... What's a game master? He's not really a game master, he's the... Oh, he's the ring, ring master. Ring master. Ring, master. ring leader. Yeah, ring master. Ah, uh, ring leader. I think it's actually ringleader. I think that's for a gang. I think that's for a gang. I think it's the <laughs> ringmaster when you're in a circus ring. Ah, uh, either or. Close I, enough. I ring my, ringmaster sounds better anyway, to me at least. Uh, does, uh, does it sound like a gag if I say that anyway? Um, uh, yeah, um, I just Google it, it's ringmaster. Okay, uh, I'm... Actually, they're in, in exchangeable. It's both. I'll, I'll lean back, um, keep my eye on the crowd, and watch him as the show continues. And... Um, can I do another perception check? But this time I'm looking at the mask. Sure. Today. Hang on, is that mask similar to the one the Marquis had? No. No, oh, it was... actually, actually, it is similar, but it's not like I didn't put any relation to it because his mask was a half smiling, half frowning one that was black and white. Yeah, it was one. Oh, ah, yes, black and white. Okay. It's got that similar look to it, but they're not related. Okay. Hmm. okay. Uh, but with um, your perception test, you can see that his eyes give off a completely different demeanor. If his body um, motions and his body language is talking of exuberance, of a fantastic show, if his voice is saying just that, his eyes are just filled with utter sorrow, despair, anguish, and hate.
the first performance starts. You see clowns doing different acts, different performances, different funny mm, sets, shall we say. The crowd laughs, jeers, and enjoys themselves. A number of children are brought into the ring and are shown how to do things, are brought into it, and you can just see the ringmaster staring at them. It's probably the thing that you would notice the most is just how the ringmaster stares at the children. There is no sign of uh, exuberance or happiness in his body language at the moment, but he is in the darkness at the edge of the ring. About 20 minutes goes by and then the children rush back to their seats so happy and joyous. The lights go off and he's back in the center of the ring. Now he is with two assistants skipping in a flaming double skipping rope. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, wasn't that performance great? And the children, didn't they love it? Didn't the joy fill your hearts? Their little laughter and their sweet souls. But sadly, thanks to some, they too will be sacrificed. <coughs> this time not from behind you, but from just at the side of you. There's a trio of screams. But now, of course, we have a riddle. And who shall answer this riddle of ours? Who will be the one? I believe a golden ticket holder should answer this one. But who will it be? One, two, three, or four? Well, let us let Renaud decide. I bloody knew it. It was going to be riddles. Isiara, you are not sat in your seat anymore. Ah, oh, shit. The rest of you are like, what the <laughs> fuck? Uh, I didn't see you move. Uh, I'm just gonna look at the guy and say, you know, next time you can just ask me to move here instead of just whooshing me here. But the crowd are going wild. Oh, my lady, oh, you, please, you can't take away my showmanship. How would the people like just walking from your seat? Now, please, answer me this and do answer correctly. I am free, but I am priceless. You cannot own me, but you can use me. You cannot keep me, but you can spend me. Once you've lost me, you can never reclaim me. What am I? Hmm. Out of character, I'm really bad with riddles. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character, I know the answer. <laughs> I think I yeah. Especially since the most riddles I know are in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> same but in Portuguese then. It's not going to be the same thing if... <laughs> uh, I cannot keep you, is that what you said? But I can use you? Time? Ladies and gentlemen, would you look at that? <laughs> You're no longer in the center of the of the big top of the uh, circus ring. You're back at your seat. The crowd applauds. The crowd is cheering. Well, would you look at that? Our first correct answer for the night. Well, let's hope our guests are able to get them all right. For we Holy will shit, have to I see what right? 
what yeah. penance there will be for any wrong answer that you give me. Now on with the show, let it begin. Let us hit act two and see the dancers sing. The lights go out again and they come back on. This time you can see the ballet dancers and acrobats performing in a way which is so unusual for the elves in particular. The emotion that they are flowing, that's flowing from them, the way that their moves are expressing so much, it's entirely bewildering to you as a race that tries to keep control of your motions as often as possible, just letting little bits out at a time. You are forgetting that we are wood elves, and damn, we have dancers. Yeah. So yeah. to us, it's kind of like humans stumbling around stupidly. Well, so yeah. elves are very elegant and can move in very um, agile ways, but you're a race that has to keep its emotions in check. Um, you are far less emotionless than the um, high elves, this is true. Um, but humans have that ability to let their emotions run wild. Um, um, let, let, let me just see if, if this makes sense. They're belly dancing, but to us they're just doing something weird. No, it's not, but it's not belly dancing. This is essentially a uh, performance art. This is this is acrobats okay. doing dance performances, okay. and you know this is like they're going up on. Um, it's quite difficult to explain all the stuff that they do in circuses, where they like have the the ropes that come down from the from the ceiling. Oh. They're able to okay, climb but... up and you know um, loop the ropes around them, whilst then bringing themselves down and you know being. A little bit like um, American cheerleaders, you know, throwing... Um, okay. Kind of like Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. Okay. But unfortunately, as the performance is about to draw to an end, you see a beautiful young woman get chucked up into the air, the rope seems to wrap around her as she spins and as she reaches the top you see the rope wrap around her neck and she falls down to earth and you hear the crack but straight after that crack you hear the crowd cheer the lights go out and back on. The ringmaster in the middle of the uh, ring, but kadum, the corpse lays on the floor, her head weeping blood. A small pool is gathering and the crowd take no notice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, wasn't that breathtaking? It was quite spectacular. But accidents will be accidents, and unfortunately, accidents do happen. But of course, it is that time once again when we must have another riddle answered and renowned will have his take. Woof! Gasper, you're in the middle of the ring. Like, what the fucking... Oh, no. I give a bow. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just going to say, I bet you can't do it, Casper. Fuck you! We have a showman on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, but will our showman have the answers? Well, let us see. <laughs> Yes, (laughs)
You need simply speak my name, and I will be no more. What am I? Silence. Woof. <laughs> I knew that one. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, not only did we break a record with four golden tickets in a row, but we might get four correct answers. But we will have to see. There is still so much of the show to go on. The crowd goes ballistic. The uproar is intense. The cheering for the gold seats. The gold seats. Uh, I'm looking at the other two. Don't fuck it up. We're on a roll here. <laughs> Black hand, Livia, get your noggins jogging. Uh, yeah, no pressure. I won't promise anything of the circus. <laughs> the lights go out and back on again. This time you see um, hippogriffs and demigriffs and other beasts no of the old world. Tamers whipping and creatures doing tricks. Only this time, more from the crowd flock down. It seems as if they're allowing them to pet these mighty creatures, but what fools! Why would... And just with that, a child... <laughs> is gone. No scream this time, but you all saw it. And not a single person cares. They continue to stroke, get close. One cheeky child even pulls a feather from the hippogriff's uh, hippogriff's wings the kid is flung across the circus stage his entrails ripped from the hippogriff's talons no one motions or cares hmm. neat Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what a performance, what a show. These creatures come from all over our glorious empire, and aren't they beasts frightening and fierce? But our tamers have them under control. Mostly. <laughs> what would you like to look at, Miss Yara? Um, I, I'm observing the ringmaster again. I'm looking at him, because everybody is basically not doing anything. Um, so I'm thinking this is the only person technically real in this place. You can uh, see... I'm looking at the mask and the eyes again. You can see where he is so brightly illuminated that his eyes are almost glowing. They're almost... glowing. That's not glowing. He blinks and his eyes go back to normal. A few moments later, you see him look over towards the child's body and he looks back towards the crowds quickly and his eyes are glowing yet again. A second later, he blinks and his eyes are back to normal. That's what I imagined. Well, it seems as if Renaud has to have his take once more. Who else will come up? Who else is next? Jesus Christ. One more. <laughs> I think we do it on water, right? Mm. Livia. What, what you are, are now the in the center. That? <laughs> That's actually brilliant. I should have literally just gone down the line. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, you may as well have. Huh? Oh. Uh, Livia looks around, not feeling very comfortable. Don't worry, my dear, no need to be shy. Our crowd doesn't bite, but maybe our beasts will. I am not alive, but I can grow. I have no lungs, but I need air to survive. What am I? Fire. Ooh. 
and you are back in your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, am, is the show too easy? Have I let myself down? What is going on with Renaud and his luck? These four golden tickets and their utter decimation of my game. But the I'm show is not look. finished. So let us carry on. We have so much more fun yet to go on. Out of character, I'm kind of at an advantage because I had to deal with tons of those questions when I uh, scripted my dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I will be to just combo breaker. I, I'm, I'm going to look <laughs> at my hand. No pressure, buddy. No pressure, no pressure. The lights go off and back on again. Only this time there are performances of a different kind. You see a number of beautiful ladies and a few handsome men climb onto boards that spin around and around and around again. A man steps into the center, blindfolded, and spun himself in the opposite direction. He takes out an axe and throws not one, not two, but three. You watch as one member of the audience dies, another and another, an axe to the face, to the heart, and to the throat. And the cheer wow. crowd goes wild. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, oh, wow, these guys are really bad at their jobs. Another man comes up, this time with pistols in hand. He takes aim, blindfolded the same, and fires four shots. Fires two in a cross direction, in a long ways direction, drops those pistols, brings out another two, and fires one forwards and one back. You hear the shots, you see the smoke and the blood that sprays out from the young ladies' heads. One shot each, straight through the brain. They didn't even have a chance to scream out his name. But they are not taken down. They continue to spin as another man comes out, this time with knives. He throws them blindfolded and strikes each woman once, but all to the heart. This performance continues and you are made to watch as the crowd jeers, laughs, and goes wild as parts are cut off. A hand is flown into the crowd, a foot and then a leg. They pick them up as trophies. And the show continues. But before long, or maybe eternity, the lights go off and the ringmaster is back. Only this time you can see that there is marks on his mask that look like the paint is coming off around the eyes. And he even comes out with a wipe on his sleeve. Ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful performance. Didn't those ladies look lovely as they fell to pieces? Again, Lissiara, you can see that his eyes are completely different to the demeanor that he seems to show. Yep. I don't think we need Renaud to have his take. With one last guest, it's your turn. It's your stakes. Woof. Black Hand, you are now in the middle of the stage, much like your comrades before you. The ringmaster looks down 
and you see two droplets fall from the eye sockets of the mask onto the ground. So, Master Dwarf, my last riddle for thee. Let's hope you get it right, or you might end up in pieces. Ripped from my mother's womb, beaten and burned, I become a bloodthirsty killer. What am I? It's a fucking hard one. Oh, I believe Master Dwarf here is stuck. We can't take all night, my good friend. What's the answer? A rat? <laughs> but as your friends see you disappear and look to your seat, you do not appear. You are spinning round and round on a board made of wood as a man comes in front of you. Oh no. <laughs> oh fuck no. <laughs> Lovely. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. You're, the, you're in the target for with the people that suck at their jobs. The man comes out blindfolded as before. He juggles his axes and throws one straight at the board. Black hand, you take 10 damage directly to the chest. It goes through your armor, but your toughness still remains. Fuck. Owie. Not that bad. You got some more of that, you punk? <laughs> Sadly, he does as he throws his second axe. Oh, <laughs> Another shot to the chest, six damage this time. Come on, I didn't even feel that one. And the last to be thrown. Oh, thank God. Uh, he gets a four. But again, straight to the chest. Put your back into it, you maggot. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarf is flexing his nipples. <laughs> They're just bouncing the axes off. So just to... It, you still have your toughness, but it goes through your armor. Yeah. I know. Okay. I don't need to climb. Six damage, actually. Okay, I was I was worried, but nothing. It's okay. Woof. I have four, I have forty nine toughness, so four toughness bonus. Okay. But um, then had me worried for a bit. Had me worried as well. Ulrich's fury. Well, thankfully these don't get Ulrich's fury. But like if oh, it was, I was worried. If, if armor gone, it wouldn't have even penetrated. Um, yeah, well, hand, you are back. Down. You are back in the center. Of the stage. Oh well, we nearly had a hat trick. We nearly had all of them, but we'll be kind and give them, and give him another chance. What do you say, my ladies and gents? Does he deserve it? The crowd again goes wild, no. but this time you hear. <clears throat> you don't need to roll perception this time for you in the golden seats. The people directly in front of you on the other side just blew up. As what? if a bomb had been placed under the stands. Body parts, chunks and blood is raining down across your part of the stands. 
I'm gonna look at Casper see. See, that's why I don't think I like your human circus. Oh, well, Every... you have to know where to sit. If you don't pick the right seat, otherwise, it's no fun. But Casper, everybody here sucks at their jobs and people keep dying all over the yes, audience. We got the, we got the proper tickets. Can I get a willpower of everyone? Um, you guys have seen some shit. I will give you this. So I'll give you a plus 10. No, this is a lot of civilian chunks flying at you. No, we'll say flat. We'll say flat. It's not demonic I... horror, but it is people flying over you. At Can the I moment, say, yeah. at the moment would... Casper, um, you I don't, don't I, actually... I know what my target numbers are. Well. You don't I'm actually have protection from your cursed or vampiric side. Say again, sir? Uh, you do not have protection from your cursed or vampiric side. Okay, but does my two levels of insanity count? That is a good point. That is a good point. You are quite crazy at the moment. So He's would seeing a lot of... As he sees the body boss. <laughs> He probably has his fucking mouth oh, when he's trying to catch this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'll give you that, Casper. You've got two levels of insanity. I would probably say on the insane scale, I haven't made anyone else take negatives for it. You guys have seen some really, really fucked up shit. So, yeah, no, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. You, 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 you're insane enough. A uh, black hand, can I get a willpower that's flat? Also, Viciara, why is your willpower only 30? It's because it said plus 10, and so I typed plus 10, and then I deleted it because it said flat. Yeah. My target is actually 81. Ah. Yeah, no, don't forget when you have but when you take the zero out, it just does. Yeah, it's just that. Straight down the mummy. So, although it's shocking my, my and disgusting, you hold your shit together. Now, you are all allowed to help Mr. Blackhand uh, solve this riddle. Um, but only he uh, suffers the consequences. Just, just so we're all intelligence. Can, no. can you re can you repeat uh, the the riddle? Ripped from my mother's womb, beaten and burned, I become a bloodthirsty killer. What am I? I mean, I already gave a hint as the card. Because as a dwarf, he's a bloody nerd. Wait. Wait. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. No, uh, or oh, is some other kind of ore? What's the most common thing used for weapons? Iron. Steel. A steel is made from iron ore. Iron ore. Woof. You were back at your seat. That was a harsh one. Yes, that was a hard one. <laughs> I mean, it was a good one. But... It was a really good one. I like that one. Okay, I'm stealing that one for next time. Yeah, I'm writing, I'm writing that one down. That's a good one. The four riddles have been answered. You hear the crowd scream as they begin to fall to pieces. The lights go up and the performances end. The ringmaster is sat on a, um, on a uh, pedestal in the middle of the ring. His feet are, he's you know, sat on the side of it, his feet are over the edge. He puts the mark, takes the mask off and puts it down next to him, but he doesn't look up at you. Takes out a, a pipe and begins to smoke. Nice, roll 20 is losing its shit. Well done. <laughs> why, would, why would you look at that? He's even smoking on the job instead of working. So it comes look. to an end then. This sham. Yes. 
I... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The children. I... They weren't meant to be here. I was told I needed to do it for the Empire. I started this to bring happiness, you know, but well, they said they were all going to die anyway when the comet hit. I didn't understand it, but they said that the power that was stored here would, well, it's over now, I suppose. Here, um, you'll need this. He chucks his mask out. He doesn't look to where you guys are, he just chucks it out. It falls on the big top floor, skidding in the dirt. Um, the face is down in the dirt. There's a glim uh, glint of something metallic attached to the inside of the mask. Oh, go pick it up. I loved making people happy. Don't think ill of my workers. They had no idea. Was it worth it, though? What, was what we did here worth it? As he raises his head up, his eyes are bright red. But not from demonic, not from possession. This is a person who has been crying for so long, rubbing their eyes raw. Um, I'm going to look at him and ask, it depends. What was it that you were doing? The tents? No, the pens. The pens? Yeah, it the depends pen. on what you were doing. <laughs> what uh -huh. were you doing? Mm. Sacrifice, was it worth it? It will be soon when this is all over. So it worked. This wasn't all in vain. I'm going to think of each side. Do you think the gods can forgive someone who's taken so many innocent lives? I don't think they can be called gods if they would. Well, it all depends from your point of view, does it not? If your action was necessary. But was it? I don't know. I wasn't told what save the Empire, they said, to protect everyone, he said. I, I figured we would protect lots of children and families. They're always the best customers, always loved performing. I'm sure they will consider your intentions. They will forgive you if they were good. Your gods are just, are they not? I don't know. Who really knows? I'm sure more will allow you to rest in peace. I hope so. I hope so. 
he just seems to be utterly melancholic. Uh, melancholic. Is that the right word? I think it's the right word. I think I'm just saying it wrong. He's very down. He's very. He's Mr. Downy. He's Downy. Uh, Downy Debs at the moment. Oh boy, you're making me the big sad again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. So we have the last key. Right. So, shall we leave this place? Is the guy still there? Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna sigh. It's just something that is very uncharacteristic for La Sierra. I mean, look at him and say, Don't worry. The tears in the earth will tell them how much you're sorry for what you had to do. And I'll get up and I'll leave. You will join your fellow soon enough. You were the last challenge. Your compatriots have already moved on. I hope so. I hope so. As you all leave the big top. There is utter carnage outside. Every person is dead. In gruesome and horrible ways, they have been slain. Most of them seem to be killed in an explosion of some kind. If not all of them, you're not quite sure. Some of them are severely burned and still burning in this ethereal green flame. Others are just smashed corpses. Um, I want to look up. Is the green light still there? No. Oh, now we witness the end of time. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Casper. Are you going to say a prayer for these people? Priestmen? There is no point for it. They're already gone, or they're not. The ringmaster was the last thing that stayed behind. We're just witnessing the past. Hmm. Uh, I can keep going outside. Say, can I get a quick heal of someone? <laughs> I'll take a look at your wound once we get back to the boat. Fair enough. So as you discuss this, you cross the border. As soon as you cross the border, the music stops. And as you look behind you, the big top, all the tents, everything that was there is destroyed. You don't see it be destroyed this time. You literally walk out of the barrier, turn round, and the big top is just rotten um, poles. There's no material left. All the other tents are much the same as if they'd been burnt and scorched. And just turned to ruins. I look at Black Hand and see if the axes are still sticking out of his chest. They had disappeared once he had Fuck. turned into um into the uh once he returned to the middle of the stage. However, Livia, you still have a packet of nuts along with some sweetened lime sections and Casper you still have the sweetened limes. They seem in perfect condition. 
Oh, do I still have the mask? You do. Oh. I, I would like to do two things. I would Did like you to study the mask. Turn around to Casper and be like, do you want some nut? No. Uh, I'm going to. You know what? I'm going to fake I don't have any. You're a female, are you not? Or is it true about women, uh, female elves being larger penises than male elves? <laughs> I'm going to look at Casper and say, What the fuck is wrong with you? A great many things. I've said this a few times now. No shit. The mask <laughs> is clearly <laughs> magical. <laughs> Good or bad, though? <laughs> can I tell? You can put it on. Ah, I'm afraid to put it on. I can put it on if you like. But you know what? I'll do it. So, as you put on the mask, um, you feel as if people would like you more in this. You feel as if it would be easier to interact with children, to make them laugh, to make them smile, to... You get a plus 20 bonus when interacting with children. And you get a plus 10 uh, fellowship. These are both for fellowship when interacting with adults. I'm keeping this. And this I'm works gonna... with all um, skill-based fellowship tests. Oh, damn. Gib. Uh, really <laughs> this mask. It's a fucking pedophile clown mask. So, yes, if that was your intentions <laughs> to do wrong, then no. yes, you could <laughs> do wrong. My my you just see a masked guy walk up and he's like, Hey kids, wanna buy some candy? Hello children, <laughs> would you like to visit my island? Yes, it could be used for nefarious <laughs> means. I'm not saying it was, but it could, it's yes. It's a fucking clown mask from a circus, dude. <laughs> yes, clowns notorious for being pedophiles. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My poor, poor character. All he wanted to do was bring joy to the world, and yet, and yet. Ruined. Ruined. We fucking ruined something. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So, with all of the keys acquired, um, with two in your possession right now, um, you are able to make your way back to the ship. Let me just double check. I don't think it will take you that long. Okay. Um, so you're probably in there for about four hours, it turns out. Didn't feel like four hours, but you were watching a performance. So it's about four o'clock now. By the time you get back to the boat, it's around five-ish. Quarter two, depending on how quickly you move. Oh, and just for uh, reference sake, um, old Dave, old, old Mario Jenkins, um, just didn't go in, doesn't like clowns. Is that it? No, fuck that. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mask on. Oh, Livia will offer him the nut and the lime slices. Oh, oh boy. Well, thank you. Oh, it's getting kind of hungry. Oh wow. Pat his shoulder and you know cool. follows the other. These are really, really good. See Casper, he likes my nuts. Ah, but is your nuts bigger than my nuts? I don't think your sounds is a no. I win again. Well it was a rather mixed bag. <laughs> I, I I feel kind of um good. Oh. oh fuck. Uh 
Um, Mario, how, besides being good, how do you feel? Well, you know, I've been in Mordheim for a while. I feel kind of shit most of the time. Um, scared out of my brains a lot. Then he got killed by a ghost. You know, that's, that's something that normally happens yes. so much. But I'm feeling quite good now. Munching away on the, on the nuts. And it's it's the caramel. Explodes. Ah, yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, Mario's got a buff for five days. Five? What, a buff for five days? What? And you thought I was going to be evil to you and make them? No, they are. They are the nuts created from the from the souls of human beings. Get a buff. No, no, I fully expected them to be beneficial now that, you know, we got out of there. I just okay, thought, have a line. oh no, Livia would probably pass them on to someone. And since he stood outside all the time, yeah, he's, he's devoured them by now. By the time he gets back to the boat, like, emptying the bag and, you know, just trying to get all those little crumbs of caramel out of there. I'll try one of the limes, see how, it, see how it goes. Unfortunately, Casper, now you are now you are under the uh the your curse, so when you put it into your mouth it tastes like ass. Ah, fuck. I will just <laughs> if you had eaten it in the in the in the big top, it would have tasted delicious. <laughs> And you would have got a plus five to uh, all your main characteristics for 1d10 days. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm just, like, as I taste it and chew it a little bit, the taste of just awfulness washes over me. I just like, spit it out and it tastes like shit. Mario's happily like, munching away like, hmm, I think they're really nice. Yeah, I knew I knew you guys would be like, yeah, we're not eating this is nuts. We're not eating these things that have just been brought to us. And I was like, yeah, but they're good. you want to eat this is nuts. This is nuts are good. They make you feel strong. But no, no. They even increase your intelligence. And all, your, all of them, it's just, they are that good. But you didn't want my caramelized nuts. Take a look at my soul, the nuts. But yes. Well, I mean, you know, David probably needs them the most. So. Yeah, probably. Fortunately, he did roll quite well, so ho hopefully, hopefully that buff will last for long enough for him to get some good use out of it. The two groups <clears throat> are brought so. together. Yes. In a very weird way. Let's get rid of that. There we go. That looks better. So, as you make your way back to the boat, um, you will probably see a couple of the other party members, um, like definitely Bill and Ted would be um, on watch, because the other group would have got back around 12-ish. Um, so you'd be gone another four or five hours on top. Um, so seeing you coming over, um, they'd probably you'd see a lot of commotion going on um, down at the boat as people are informed. Humperdinck makes himself known. Yeah. Waving over at you a lot with his bingo wings flapping. <laughs> so, so come on, come on, come on in. How, how did it go? Can we, uh, can we leave this place yet? Or have we still got, uh, still got some more things to find? Well, well I almost. Yeah. Almost. We got the fourth key. Yes, we have all the keys now. I suppose the last thing to do is go back to the the tower. However, we may as well wait for that tomorrow. Probably need a rest. 
Oh, some of you probably do the rest. I'm being actually quite fine. I look over at Black Hand, too. Black Hand's chest may hurt a little bit. But... Oh, Lydia, not yet. Yeah, we should bit. probably take care of that. Uh, follow me. Thank you. I follow it. Well, I think a simple heal yeah. roll should be enough. I mean, I only need six wounds, so... Well, hang on. It's now it's one d ten, isn't it? Hmm. Yes. I think it's degrees of success, isn't it? No, you need to use a healing poultice as well. So a uh, one d ten for the healing poultice, and then I think we either said we, I was going to homebrew it as you were going to add your intelligence bonus to it, like um, in forty k. Oh no, it's uh, 1d10 plus um, the degrees of success on the heal test for the healing process. I got it written down in my inventory. Ah, okay. I mean... So I'm just going to issues. mark off one... Sure, yeah, you get six um, You get six health back from the degrees. So that's you, um, that's you fully healed. Yeah, hand. if you want, you can roll the 1d10. Well, you got seven health back. Fortunately, you only needed six. <laughs> oh, boy. So, shall we rest for the night then and go to the tower tomorrow? Or... Uh, yes, yes, why not? It, it seems to be getting quite late and... Uh... Well, hearing the things bump around here at night, I don't really think it's a good idea to meet them. Um, I suppose uh, if we uh, have a stronger guard, maybe tonight, um, as uh, as we have so many adventurers here, and uh, I don't think all of you need to go to the to the tower tomorrow. So um... yes. Um... Shall we divvy up who's going to the tower now, then? Um, I shall place everyone on one side of the river, and you place the ones who you want to go to the tower over on the other side of the river. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so we have three cast, <laughs> three casters in the dwarf again. So the, literally the same group. Yeah, the same group as last time. <laughs> uh, you see, That's Casper has a reason to go to the tower now, so he has to go. Although I would have brought fucking Cedric. Dude, the entire reason for this character being in Mordheim is going to that tower. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Blackhand is pretty much the plot person while uh, Bromden is the looters. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. I mean, I'd say that probably most characters want to go to the tower, but the ones that had to... Cedric wants to go puke at the wall again. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> just, just, just big no. Whoa, you want me to poop in a wall? I know the accent's cheese, but uh... <laughs> So as our team go to sleep tonight, for one, how's dinner? How's dinner? Oh, it's not good. It's not good. She's going to re-roll it. Oh, it got worse. It got worse. It's terrible. Like, li I like... think I don't need it. Livia, uh, Aurelia is kind of eating her stew, going, I'm going to have to have words with her. This is this is unacceptable. She needs to put more effort in this. I'm risking my life for this shit. Like, she doesn't say it, but the look is on her face, and everyone else is eating it. Like, yeah, yeah. She's, Where are my uh, rations? Where are my dried rations? I know I've got some around here somewhere. Out of and the, this is why you don't kidnap a hooker to be your girl. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oi. To be fair, I, she's done I really, really her. well up until now. I mean, there's other reasons why you don't kidnap a hooker, but, you know... I kidnap kind of... whoever I want. <laughs> if, if, the, if the fat <laughs> man can kidnap an entire mariachi team, I can kidnap my girlfriend. Sure. Oh, that, that poor team. That sounds really bad. So how did you get your Thai wife? I kidnapped her. <laughs> so oh just to, she she went from an eighty-seven to a ninety-seven. So yeah, this is god awful. Oof. This is fucking terrible. Oof. And as you go to sleep tonight, um. So, for the group who went and did two adventuring quests. Your dream is a little weird. Um, oh, well, they're all pretty weird, but um, you essentially are at the circus. You can just see everyone having an amazing time. And yes, as you look up, that green dot in the sky just twinkles ever so lightly. And there is another individual that you've already met, the wizard. They seem to be talking, but... From what you remember, what the wizard telling told you, this dude, this guy is just the wizard is lying to the to the circus master. That he is blatantly telling fibs about what will happen, what's going on, what it's for. You get the idea that it's because he wouldn't understand if he was told the truth like it would just go way over his head much like the houndsman it just he wouldn't understand but he didn't care whereas it seems as if the um circus master is is genuinely like asking questions wants to know what this is it worth it is it is this too much to to pay it's look at all these people Really, all of them have to be and for the group who went well actually, yeah, for the group that went to the hound, no, hang on, you went to the thing, yeah, for the group that went to the hound and come back, um this vision again is far different from uh the ram's head in it, he doesn't seem to care. Like the the hounds master is sat in his chair. He has his hounds next to him that he seems to be incredibly infection, affectionate with, and there's dozens of them. You know, there's there's hardly any floor space because there are so many hounds in here. And then again, a wizard appears. The dogs all seem thrilled to see him, and he tells the hounds master what needs to be done and. He accepts it, but he doesn't ask enough questions to understand what he's accepting. But you would also take note that the darts board, for those of you who said how shit he was, um, the wizard and the uh, houndsman seem to play a game as, as they're talking. And it's the wizard who never hits the board. A dog always comes up and nudges him or pushes him or does something to him to where he always misses. But he always seems to laugh about it and joke and like stroke the dog in an affectionate way. Whereas the hound master, one, two, three bullseye each time. The dogs don't even touch him. They don't go near him. But the two seem to joke about it as the dream ends. So sadly not, we won't go into the horrifying one like the, uh, the ram's head. But it seems as if all of you are getting an explanation as to what happened at the time. 
but this time you don't wake up in a cold sweat or scared it's more it's just happened kind of like a vision for Lysiara at the very least <laughs> Jenny, you good? Hello? I'm alive. I don't know if Giddy is still alive. I think Giddy has passed on to the to Big E. Oh, I think we broke Eddie. We broke Eddie. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I I just got a message from a mate of mine that just made me fucking buckle. <laughs> what? 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 Want to share? Sent me a tutorial for uh, absolute dump trucks. How to draw Pixar moms? <laughs> How to draw the what? Actually. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I'll share it in the group chat. Come on. I, I, I'm shaking my head. <laughs> there you go. I came out of fucking left field. <laughs> So, uh, sorry about that. As you wake up the uh, next day, uh. we will see. How is your breakfast? Did she do better? She did better today. 36. She makes up for, for her. Tiffany makes up for her disaster last night with a, with a decent Empire English breakfast. Why not? Bacon, okay. eggs. Uh, there's sure there's some vegetarian stuff there as well for the elves. Sausage. Yeah, sausages, eggs, bacon, she does the whole lot. And again, uh, some weird fried vegetables for the elves. I mean, we elves eat meat. We eat meat. We just respect our, our creatures when we kill them. And we don't kill them for sport. Oh, shut up. Well, then you're not... Hang on a minute. What about the hunt? Orion's hunt. We <laughs> literally hunted down a fucking elk for the sheer shits and giggles. Just for me to practice that, that's, hunting thing. That's different. That's the world That's else. very different. I mean, that's elves cultural. usually don't just leave the forest to, you know, kill some Bretonian peasants. Us, you know, only Orion Hunt, so that's the. How do you call that? I reject your reality and substitute my own? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Hmm. So, you wake up to your lovely, lovely, empiric, slaughtered breakfast. The elves put their nose up to it because they're like, oh no, no, it wasn't killed humanely enough. Everyone else just sighs. I just, thank uh -huh. you, Tiffany, and enjoys. Well, except for, <laughs> except from uh, Casper. He's just like, blood wine. I drink That's actually morning. a question. I, I, that's a question I meant to ask. Um, because technically the... The need to feed gets extended when you go up in the vampire class. Does does that count for me as well? So at the moment you have yet to kill someone and drain their blood. Fair enough. So you have still Ooh, no, not no. fully succumbed to like the way I've been seeing it is you've been trying to do everything you can not to drain the life out of someone. I mean, kind of. Because you've killed but an awful lot of things. You've killed an awful but lot of what? things that you could have drained, like just being like, I'm just going to drain it dry. In Nolan, we did string. I did string a guy up and just fucking drain him like a. Yeah, but that was an asshole. Well, <laughs> that wasn't. You know, you didn't drink his blood directly. Yeah, true. Yeah, I you suppose. didn't like drain the life from him. Which is a very different. So you're okay. still not a real vampire. You're just a vampire. Yeah, I'm a poser. <laughs> I mean, I'm an edgy kid that shops that shops at Hot Topic. A little bit, but you will set 
burn into flames if you do get hit by hit by light. So is it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. As far as I, I mean, I'm that's concerned... no different from the usual hot topic customers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I would say that you still have re remain kept your soul. Um, a, that little bit of humanity is still there. Um, yes. So yes, you have your blood wine in the morning. It's like no, 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 no. I'm a raging alcoholic. I don't eat. <laughs> I just food. I don't need food. Chugs a bottle of beer. <laughs> bottle of wine. Sorry. My breakfast is fruit juice and beer. Hang on, hang on, hang on, what's up? Uh... I don't think he'd stand out much. I mean, most there we people go. in medieval times would lose <laughs> There we go. In all <laughs> <laughs> Pretty That's much. A good one. So, you have your breakfast you know get everyone ready say you know basically defend this area who knows what will happen when we uh if we come back when we come back and you set off it doesn't take you long i believe only about an hour to walk through the streets in the morning again there is this weird uh hazy fog that seems to come from Mordeheim itself. But before long you were at that tower with the statue. <sighs> Four keys go in to the locks and they turn on their own. Well, we should ready ourselves, but fuck it. <laughs> we haven't so far. <laughs> I'm gonna look at you. Casper, I have been writing myself for this for the past 15 years. I've been winging it for the past couple of months. Ask your sister. I have no idea what I'm doing as I walk towards the door. <laughs> And as you walk towards the door, the door begins to open. And that's where the screen fades to black. And we will see what happens next time. <laughs> Famous last words. I've been winging it for months. I knew it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Like the barbarian oh. in D and D, oh, I fix intelligence. I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> fucking love Grung. It was Grung, wasn't it? I uh, think it was. Uh, Grog, I think. Oh, oh boy. No, that was good. Um, so <laughs> thank you all so much for. Uh, for joining us for this episode. Um, I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Keep in mind, um, we are getting quite close to the end of our campaign and we will be having some uh, resolutions come forth or resolutions or whatever it is. My brain's getting quite tired. Um, I certainly hope you did enjoy this. You're looking forward to future episodes to come where we are heading towards the end of the campaign. So, Good times to join in and find out how this story ends. Um, I certainly hope I will see you all in the next episodes. Um, thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribes, follows. Give me your watch time is what I'm trying to say. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> take care, everyone. And as always, bye-bye for now. See you next time. See ya. See ya. Bye.